Hello, my name is Frank, and you are welcome to TVL. You are the TVLers, and I'm a professional vocal coach. Today, I'm going to be um, teaching on a topic that someone requested. Um, first, I want to send a shout out to Rohan Sinha, who asked me to do this topic. And to all of you as well, shout out to you as well. Your questions will be answered very soon, okay? So I'm going to uh, probably one video a week but look out for your own um, question okay but rohan seen her asked about pitch correction so that's what we're gonna be um teaching today okay so this happened to be a challenge to a whole lot of lot of singers you find out that um pitch when your pitch is bad it affects the general way you sound it's not that you don't have the ability to sing well, but it's just that you haven't met the right tools or the right exercises or maybe a habit that causes you to sing off pitch. So when we talk about off pitch, we are talking about not hitting the notes accurately the way it should sound. And when we talk about off pitch, we're talking about maybe you going sharp or going flat. Sharp means you go above the note. Maybe this is the note you want to sing, which is the correct one. Oh, and you go, oh, which is above it. And um, there's also flat. You go below it. You want to go, oh, and then you go, oh, that is flat. Okay. So that's just uh, an overview of, of pitch, which could come in form of flat or sharp. So now let's take a look at some of these factors that could be the cause of you singing off pitch. And I'm sure after this video, you'll be blessed a lot and your problem will come to an end because um, people who sing with correct pitches perhaps didn't start that way. They perhaps started singing and in the whole song, maybe let's say the song is 100%. The whole song, um, 60 or 70% of the entire song was the notes were incorrect in other words they sang off pitch and then the 40 percent was correct now that will make the song sound not so good terrible right because the off pitch is more than the ones you sang correctly now as you practice over time you reduce the number of percentage the percentage you go off pitch and your song begin to sound nicer so that should be your aim so now instead of going 70 percent off pitch you reduce it with practice maybe after a couple of weeks you find out that you go off pitch in an entire song when you sing an entire song your off pitch is reduced to 40. that's good news so you keep going keep going keep practicing with the right tools with the right materials which you get in this channel obviously and you're able to reduce it to a very small quantity to about 10. and when you listen to the whole song the whole song will sound good and nice and if you can reduce it further excellent all right so that's the aim so the first one is lack of confidence do you know you can be a good singer in your room in your house but when you come in front of people confidence takes away your ability to perform excellently the way you do in your house so that's what confidence does lack of confidence but how do you solve this you solve it by doing the same thing getting used to the environment volunteering to sing more and more and as you do that your confidence will rise and soar and then you're able to conquer that lack of confidence issue you. you see people that sing with confidence sing good okay so that's the solution come out and sing more don't shy away sing more in front of people you may come to a new environment now maybe now you're singing to thousands of people that could you know lead to a little um a little lack of confidence but again you begin in that new environment of more people and sing sing more and more and then you build confidence that way and then the second one is your posture check your posture when you sing you shouldn't be like slouching or bending or even sitting if you're pra if you're you know improving your singing i think the best advice is for you to stand up straight by standing up straight remember air passes through your trachea or what we call your windpipe and every sound is produced by vibration the sound you produce when you sing is produced by vibration of your vocal cords which is in here and 
what causes this vibration is air that comes out of your lungs now if you um hinder this air in any way it's going to affect that vibration and obviously going to affect your pitch so what do you do you stand up straight because if you slouch it's gonna hinder it's gonna bend sort of like bend your windpipe and gonna obstruct the flow of air which is eventually gonna um, affect your pitch or the sound you produce so the best thing is to stand up straight when you practice that's the solution for the posture problem so check yourself when you practice when you sing do you slouch do you sit down you know just sit up straight okay another point is your choice of key always sing on the right key your comfortable key you don't have to sing on ex on the exact key the original singer sang it and at the end of the day um your song sounds peachy because you're struggling to sing on that high key pick a key that best shows your voice that you're comfortable with it's better to sound you know to to drop the key a lot or increase it maybe you're, you're a lady and the person the original singer was a guy and he sang so low you know ladies have issues singing really really low that's not your tessitura or your comfort zone so you in your own case can raise the key or if the key is too high drop it and sing comfortably it's not a crime to reduce the key okay another point is choose the right role model or rather the right voice type you can be a tenor voice and try to sing like a soprano voice or you can't be a soprano voice and try to sing like a bass voice or a tenor voice awful it's gonna sound awful and that can make you go off pitch i know of this guy who came uh who went for singing composition x factor whatever i think and he came out announced his name hey um my name is well he's not his name is not peter but yeah let me just use peter my name is peter and i'm here to sing and i know i can win this competition and i say okay peter do your stuff that's what the judges say said and then he went i'm a baby girl in a baby world so fantastic na, na, na. No. <laughs> now don't ever do that pick the right room model pick the right uh, voice type because the person that sang the song he's trying to do is a lady and to make it even worse, it's a lady who I believe has a soprano voice, which is really high. So how can you, a guy, try to imitate um, her voice type? You know, you can do the same song, but sing it on a low key, on the key that's comfortable for you. And don't try to imitate um, her voice. Another one may be a wrong placement. Okay, when I say placement, especially with the tongue. You know, for instance, if your tongue, you usually sing and your tongue goes back all the way back, it kind of um, hinders the passage of air and hinders the sound. It kind of chokes the sound that comes out. So what you have to do is make sure your tongue is forward like air. Ah, no, don't pull your tongue backwards because by the time you do that, you're reducing the space in here and, and, and you have to sing some vowels with open throat like ah, air and so on. Allow much freedom, freedom there. Okay, so that's the solution to that. Your tongue placement, you need to check it. And the best way to check your tongue placement is to talk. Okay, just stop, stop singing and just say the word. You want to say help and you just say it help and when you say it notice your placement when you say it help your tongue flat help and you sing it that same way and you're close to the right placement another reason why you may be going off pitch is probably your breath control maybe you're taking breath in the wrong places or you're exhaling too quickly or yeah panicking could also cause that and that comes back to that connects to the first reason uh which is lack of confidence so you need to work on your confidence first to uh, eventually begin um to feel that freedom more in the way you breathe but breathing could also be a problem on its own so you learn to breathe you no know, don't rush learn to take in air at the right time in the right spaces all right and learn to see ahead 
don't just jump into a note see it here if hear it first before you get there with your mouth so hear what's coming and get pre prepared get ready for it so that you know you are taking a large quantity of air before you get there because if the note is long you're sustaining for long and you take a shot there's a short intake of air you are going to stop halfway and need to take in another um, air uh, to finish it for instance when you go ah! that time i took in the right quantity of air but when you take in a short quantity of air ah! Ah! you see what happens so you're choking for air you're struggling for air which definitely affects speech then another one is um lack of technique maybe you've been singing with the wrong kind of technique for so long you always try to yell when you reach high notes well don't yell anymore what you need here is the right exercises to correct the way your vocal cord is shaped or uh, when you go up when you sing high notes and i have the right product for you in, uh, below this video in the description segment you find a link that will take you to iTunes where I have a course a very short course but very powerful and effective you need to hear the testimonies coming from this product this product it is called singing with freedom and that's what it does it helps you sing with freedom so instead of yelling shouting and you see all the vein around your neck just to reach that note instead of experiencing that you sing with freedom when you work with these exercises and you feel the freedom in a couple of weeks so singing with poor technique especially when you're yelling to reach high notes can cause you to you know go off pitch you know lose control of your voice up there especially another one especially if you're a beginner or you've had a problem for a long time of pitch and you've been trying to correct it well like i told you without the right knowledge accurate knowledge and the right tools you may just be going in circles and perhaps you've been going in circles for years now correcting your hearing skill is something you can actually improve upon and i'll tell you a lot more about this i want to really major on this right now so in, to improve your hearing skill what you can do is these these days you don't need to actually buy a physical piano that may be expensive and you may not want to you know do that but they, they have some really nice you know low end cost wise uh, piano you can buy and keep in your house if you want to learn one but you can also download a piano app and you play a sound and you know sing that sound try to sing that sound you play another sound you try to sing it and so on and so forth so you can practice that way all right because in this area this point the issue here is that sometimes you hear a sound but now you want to sing it and it's not coming out right so there are things you need to correct you know in your the way you sing your placement and so on and so forth again that can be solved by exercises another issue here if you look at it from another perspective is you are hearing very limited sound and um, you're not hearing the notes correctly and uh, there was a time years back in a studio where the producer says you're going flat and he did the correct one and i couldn't i found it like weird because what i thought i was doing and what i heard him do was exactly the same and i i thought to myself dear lord what what can i do because they sound the same and i'll try to sing the correct one again and he said you're still going flat and to me they sound the same so your your hearing may just be limited and that's what training your ears would do for you it will improve the way you hear so instead of hearing like oh you know like um let me use an example you may be seeing just five colors now when you train your sight you see like 12 colors or more which is better you have more control more power than the one that sees very limited color okay the same with hearing when you're in that position you're actually hearing very limited notes to you five notes sounds almost the same all right but by the time you train your voice you find out that you're hearing clearer distinctively each notes all right and one of the way to improve on this is also solfege 
yeah go to my playlist i have topics on solfage where you can begin to learn solfage solfage will help you improve your pitch really really good i've used it to help a lot of, a lot of students to come out of their pitch problem and they understand the language of music and they see music from the mountaintop you know um that place where you see clara also there are some pitch correction apps you can actually use which are online and um, I have this one which I use. It's, it's called Perfect Your Pitch. Okay, I'm sure you can see it right on your screen. And when you open it, you're going to see something like this. So at the top, you see tenor, right? So uh, if you um, drop down that menu, that arrow by the tenor, you see soprano, alto. So whatever voice type you are, you can go there. So what you have there is your normal do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. The one on the side is just um, like, you know, blues notes and so on, which doesn't appear so um, often in songs, okay? But you can also use that to train your pitch, okay? You can press any notes, press any one, and then you come to the next page. Before that, actually, you can slide left and right um, to hear the upper octave or the lower octave. So then the next one, when you um, open a note, like let's say so for instance, by the way, so can be spelled S-O-L or S-O, all right? I think also S-O-H, yeah. So when you open it, you're gonna see this. And um, to listen, just press listen. When you hear the sound, try to imitate the sound. Try to go like if it's so, try it. You go so, and the graph below, what you should be aiming at is to be level with the green line. If you go above it, like this one you're seeing here, I did that on purple so you can see an example of sharp. You went above the note, so if you want to do ah uh, and do ah, uh, it will show you where your voice is and that tells you it's, it's um, sharp, all right? And by the way, when you want to hear it, you press listen. And then when you're ready to sing, you press stop and try it. And then <laughs> the next thing that will appear is this guy that his <laughs> expression will show you how well you did. And he's, oh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. This expression says, oh, it's okay. Yeah, not so good. So I got 47, accuracy 47 in that one. But you should be aiming at 90, between 90 and 100, okay? And the next one is uh, stability of the notes. How stable is the notes? How level? Okay. And, and the timing is six seconds. Okay. How long you are able to sustain it. And then I tried another one to show you an example of flat. And um, you see it's below the green line this time. And um, you see the expression of the guy is very weak he's so weak that's what this one says so they gave me 12 accuracy 12 yeah and it wasn't even stable it was shaky shaky everywhere so it was 80. so these are tools you can use to um, work on your pitch then don't forget the last one is how do you know you're improving by recording yourself so you may be singing uh you are my sunshine my only sunshine record it while you're singing okay and listen back now you can tell the difference between sharp and flat so when you're listening back you can tell oh this note you are my sunshine that shine wasn't correct in that recording so you sing it sing it again focusing on that area to correct it this time you are my sunshine my only sunshine you see so you focus on the areas you didn't get the first time record it again and when you record it listen you are my sunshine yeah it's correct now my only sunshine oh no no that's wrong so you do another recording now learn housekeeping when you're doing your recording don't just leave the default name it may say recording one recording two but how are you gonna find it next time it's gonna be difficult it's gonna waste your time so what you need to do name it you are my sunshine or sunshine one first recording sunshine two second recording sunshine three 
So you carry on doing like this every day you record yourself and I bet you by the time you get to maybe 15, 20, you would notice a difference between 15, 16, 17, 17th recording you know, with the first one when you compare it to the first one, you notice a massive difference. Now, I hope this helps, all right? I've never ever done a pitch um, um, lesson like this, but hey, I love you guys and I really want to give you everything that can help you improve. So I hope this helps. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye. I've got this thing for you.